In this video, we're going to look at working with exponential functions. Now, an exponential function is any function with the variable in the exponent. The classic exponential function is f of x equals a times b to the x power. Notice that the exponent is the variable. Now, there's a couple ways we can solve exponential functions. What we want to start with is when solving exponential functions, if the bases are equal, then it seems to make sense that the exponents are equal as well. And it turns out that is the case. So, for example, 1 here, we've got 7 to the 3x minus 6 equals 7 to the 5x plus 2. Because the bases are the same, we can also conclude that these exponents must be the same as well. And so, we'll state that 3x minus 6 is equal to 5x plus 2. And we now have a simple linear equation we should be very comfortable solving. Subtracting 3x from both sides gives us negative 6 equals 2x plus 2. Subtracting 2 from both sides gives us negative 8 is equal to 2x. And then finally, dividing both sides by 2 gives us x equals negative 4. And we found the solution that makes this exponential equation a true equation. How about example 2? We have 4 to the 5 minus x equals 4 to the 3x. We want to know what value for x makes the equation a true equation, what number x is representing. And fortunately, both bases are the same. If the bases are the same, the exponents must also be the same. 5 minus x must equal 3x. We can then solve by adding x to both sides, getting the variable on one side, 5 is equal to 4x. And finally, dividing both sides by 4 gives us that x is equal to the fraction 5 fourths. We can solve simple exponential equations. If they have the same base, the exponents then also must be equal.